we're helping Miss Ama Jean Jones, and uh, Miss Jones has been suffering. She had a uh, roof done, some work done prior, but it kind of wasn't done right, and the, a lot of holes in it. So anyway, it's been actually raining in a few spots there. And so um, we first had our event, and Miss Jones came and let us know how much demand it was that she needed help. But, and um, so I told her as soon as we would be up and running, she would be one of the first ones on our list. She was actually one of the only ones that showed up at one of the housing events that came to my, little, my area. And after that, we had another one in December, and we had quite a few applicants that, that are needing, it, needing enough assistance. It's, it really hurts my heart when I see and know. I mean, I knew Ms. Jones at my church. I knew her when she used to work for the city cab in Waxhatch. And uh, when I was growing up, my mom used to send me in the cab to uh, in, in, from school. But anyway, um, so to come back and see her in that type of need, just, you know, I got to do what I can do. And so I'm so thankful that we were able to do that for her. And uh, and hopefully many, many more. Uh, as you see, there's a lot of need. And I have people come to me a lot of times and ask me, uh, how do they get on the list or what do they need to do to, to get that type of assistance. And so I told them, you know, we're only new and we were, we're based on donations. Um, we were applying for some grants. Um, just really kind of hadn't got started on that because, you know, make sure we're doing it the, the correct way. And um, we've been very blessed to, to get enough donations to do this project here. And with the, what it is, it's not a handout, it's a hand up. So with the funds that goes in, that Miss uh, Ms. Jones pays back into our organization, which is affordable to her. That's was all agreed upon before we started. And uh, those funds go back into the organization to help another family. For a full version of the story, pick up a copy of the Waxhatchee Daily Light or read it online at waxhatchetx.com. This has been Andrew Branker reporting.